YouTube, what is up with y'all today? This is Nail here. Nail, good fella, good fella, Nail. Man, this has been a surprising week. Surprising week. So, uh, the Jordan, the Black Jordan Five Metallics came out yesterday and stuff. Uh, I might drop this either Sunday or Monday. Well, Monday or so Sunday or Monday or whatever. Obviously, because that's when I do my sneaker rotations and stuff. Um, yeah, man. So, I don't know if I was going to make a response video or whatever. As far as like, uh, you know, um, uh, it being Durabuck and New Buck and all that stuff. You know what? Like, I had checked like two websites and it, and it said that the material on the black metallic fives for 2016 with the Nike Air on the back was Durabuck. I seen that on Sneaker News and I also seen that on another site. Then I, I also seen on another site that they were saying New Buck. But it looks it feels like Durabuck to me. I mean shit, I, I mean and, and even if it is New Buck, that shit is even worse because I know they can do better. Like it's cut so low and all that. But anyway, before I get off into the sneaker review, so I'm just say my little piece on that. So look at that previous video, that Jordan 5 video, where I'm actually breaking it down as far as like, you know, about it being a little too pricey. And, you know, it's necessarily not about being broke or whatever like that. You know, I could definitely afford to shoot, but I really value my money. And that's a lot of things these other people need to start doing. Now the shoe is classic, clean, all that stuff, man. Most definitely, I even got a pair. Not the 2016, I got the 2011 Black Metallic 5s. And I mean, obviously I bought them before because I thought they was fresh. So, I, I, you know, they fresh now still too. But what really warrants that 225 price? <clears throat> and just to reiterate, I, hopefully y'all seen my video. Well, if y'all haven't, like I said, go see it. You know, I pay for genuine leather over that kind of new buck or that kind of Dora buck. And just, uh, just as I predicted, you know, a little boy came, you know, trying to tell me, you know, oh, it's, it's new buck, not Dura buck. Like, shut up. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, <laughs> so yeah, let me jump off into this sneaker rotation and hit y'all up with what I got. Uh, of course, it's going to be a few kicks that I haven't even worn in a minute and stuff like that. So I'm definitely happy to do this. I didn't want to show y'all some stuff I done showed y'all before already. Already. Jumping off in the Sunday, I end up bringing out the Nike Air Max Force 2013. I don't know where the hell that string come from, but anyway, this it right here. This is the Barkley joint from '93, Classic Flames Fire. This is the uh, the newer 2013 version of Hyperfuse in a way because they don't have the threading on there. The originals actually had the threading on there. Um, and those look cool too, but for my first time ever having this shoe, the black one really stood out to me because it was just like very subtle and classic. And I definitely had to have it because I seen like um, a sneaker guy I look up to is like Will Smith from the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. And maybe that's explained like why a lot of my shoes like old school, I guess, because it was from around that time period. So he definitely had these joints on on the show. You really got to look close at his feet and stuff because. He would just throw them on and they might have something cuffing them or something like that. So you got to kind of look at it. Complex did a sneaker, um, uh, a Will Smith sneaker joint for the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That was the first one they had. I'm surprised they had a Martin one. Then they had a Dwayne Wayne one. All three of those guys is definitely essential to my sneaker collecting today. Like, that's why I got a lot of older kicks as well, you know. Uh, and that's nothing against the new kicks too because some of the new kicks that is coming out is definitely fly definitely fire But yeah, so the Nike Air Max Air Force Max 2013 clean and they came out with a variety of colorways for this shoe They damn near wore the shoe out for the 2013, but they, they need to come out with that white joint With the Concord blue and the black on it. Woo crazy crazy Monday, <clears throat> I end up breaking out the Air uh, the Air Flight 89. This is the only pair I really got. I'm happy I got this one. It's definitely a masculine color with the Zen Gray. Looks white in camera, 
but it's not white it's actually just a very 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 light gray it's not even cool gray it's lighter than cool gray and uh man it's definitely a fly kick i love it and i didn't even know Dwayne wayne had these joints on in a different world when he was like getting ready to hoop i was like damn great sneaker heads think alike man picking that same colorway and all that stuff also these uh had a temporary place on um the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, when Carlton was, um, <laughs> when uh, Will Smith actually took Carlton to the hood, and um, when Will Smith came back and seen Carlton was like, you know, he wasn't acting like himself anymore, and he was acting like he was from the hood. Carlton had these on, also with a guy named Debo. Debo is from Friday, do the research and stuff. Debo used to be a wrestler and stuff, so yeah, that's crazy. I was like, wow, this shoe really was a classic back then. Not only just the model, but even the colorway. So I didn't even know that. And I ended up getting these for like 30 bucks in like 2013. So <clears throat> that was from the outlet too. Tuesday, I ended up coming through with the crazy Columbia Legend Blue 4. Crazy. Definitely classic. Definitely fly. Man, when you, you know, this is one of the things like when you actually feel like wearing this shoe, when you're actually feeling, feeling this shoe, this shoe is the stuff. And you know, this is one of them shoes that's perfect for the summer and spring, particularly. It's not a set rule. You can also wear these in the fall. But if I had to pick between wearing the, these and the Oreo uh, Force for the fall, I would probably wear the Oreo Force for the fall. More like a dark color and that, and that beautiful uh, cream Oreo. But that's another video. I still got to pick those up. But these right here was like a last minute cop. A last minute pickup last minute in stock pickups at least for the year uh when did these come out early 2015 or something i don't know yeah early 2015 because that's when the whole remaster stuff started crazy beautiful leather all that it's crazy how so many people just like wear these kicks they show y'all the kicks one day they review it or whatever then they hardly even wear it anymore so one of the very important essential things is actually wearing your kicks man i love it like it a lot wear your kicks so they don't fall apart on you and so you don't have to be like i don't know i guess if you got to sell them you got to sell them but this is what i wore for tuesday wednesday i end up breaking out the nike air diamond turf one this is something you don't really see too often people did hold on to these for a minute but they beat the hell out of them not this particular colorway. It was various colorways of the shoe. This is another one they overdid as far as like colorways. Now this one is the Challenge Red. I do like what they did with the colorway on this. Some of the colorways was hit and miss. Uh, even the OG colorways is definitely fire. But this, I don't think this, this is not an OG colorway. The red on this is called Challenge Red. They also have a blue one exactly like this. So if you just replace the red with like a blue, that's exactly what they got. Uh, I was, I was kind of contemplating on copper nose as well, but you know me, I'm definitely a red fan. I got to have it. And, uh, when you actually see these shoes in person, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's bright. So yeah, definitely fly, definitely flames with the strap, the Nike air diamond turf. And that was for Wednesday, Thursday. I end up wearing these joints right here. Crazy. Uh, this is nothing but just a simple uh, Reebok ventilator. Probably the best Reebok for the comfort on the foot. Crazy. I love it. Like it. This is another kick I spent like 30, 30 bucks on at finish line. This don't even, this is another one. It don't even really look like it's like worth 30 bucks. Look like it's probably like worth 70 or 80 or something like that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hype beast my own shoes and say over 100 for these, but they, but most definitely this looks like this worth like 70 or 80 bucks, you know, high end. But um, yeah, so I got this for like 30 bucks or so, probably 35, and uh, I love it, man. Definitely still holding up as far as comfort, and uh, I probably need to get some more ventilators though. Um, so yeah, I went, even though this is an old school running, show, running shoe, it seemed like still more of a, like a lifestyle shoe too, man, crazy. Uh, only one celebrity I had, only one celebrity I seen had these on ever. This particular colorway, which was Cameron, and of course I switched the laces out to also make it pop with that sky blue right there. Yep, yep, yep. So while you know, 
now I'm thinking about it like, man, I'm showing a lot of basketball shoes. I'm not really too much showing like lifestyle shoes. Like I'm showing like cross trainers and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. Uh, I want to get some Adidas too. I want to get some more Adidas. But, I, you know, them Puma joints I showed y'all, those was, you know, obviously like more so. Even though they're running shoes, they look a little bit more like Lux lifestyle shoes. So, next kick. I had to retire these, so I wanted to wear them one more time before I had to retire them, and that is the Black Metallic 5. Yes, 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 I urge you to get a pair of 2011 Metallic 5s and put them next to the new ones. The only thing that really got going for the uh, the 2016 Metallic Black Metallic 5s is really like the uh, Nike ear on the back, you know. Uh, like I said in the video, you know, a little rep tried to convince me that them shoes was going for X amount of dollars and all that stuff, man. Don't don't fall into the hype. Don't don't let sneakers consume you, though, man. But I'm my time is ticking. But the the new buck on here is definitely longer, and you can actually shift your finger and actually make different shades of black on it. I mean, and then also got the silver 23 on the side. You know, whatever. I said the only reason I might even cop the Black Metallic Fives, the new ones, is if they go down in price and, you know, if I want a snug fit. But for the most part, it's the same damn thing, really, kind of, sort of, you know, um, just a, a, a tad bit cut off on materials. Um, I don't know if some people like that or not, but I st I'm still rocking with these babies right here. Definitely was turning heads before uh, the new ones came out, but it's all good. I just retire these until y'all fuck up the new ones. And yep, on to the next shoe. This is why I wore Friday. Saturday, I end up wearing the Nike Air Trainer SC. I don't know if these are the SC twos. Yeah, the Nike Air Trainer SC twos. Um, if I think I wore these for like two days or something like that, my sneaker rotation kind of off. But yeah, so I end up wearing these for Saturday. Crazy, fly, fresh. This is one of the colors you don't really too much see anymore. But I definitely wore this one. I got my fair share of wearing in this because uh, usually I just wear these once. But I think I wore these like three times or something. So like I wear my other sneakers, but then these was like closer by the door. So I just threw these on. Also, too, I actually had like a day or two of actually full-blown wearing these one time. So I don't know. But yeah, definitely a sneaker I like. Definitely screams spring and summertime to me. Not too much of a fall shoe, but I guess you could still pull it off with the like the, the purple right here. Kind of similar to like a burgundy in a way. But uh, yeah, it's not too much of a like of a great colorway. But if you look at stock images or stock photos of this particular color, um, I think the other color might be called magenta or something like that. If you but if you look at uh, actual stock photos, it'll look brighter than what it is. But when you actually see it in real life and stuff like that, it'll definitely uh, be more of a like a toned down color that'd be a little bit more masculine and stuff like that, but still fashionable. Um, that's definitely what I like. When I first seen the stock picture, I thought it was just gonna be like a bright color, a bright, super girly grape, and I was like, oh man, I might have to return these. But they end up not being that way. So rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. I am out. Peace.